Happy Friday, everyone. Well, I think many in the region are going to stay dry today, but for Saturday and Sunday, looking like good rain chances again. So let's get to all the details in your weekend forecast sponsored by NIPSCO. And no rain early this morning, but I do have to mention some fog in the region. Lots of light fog and some dense fog in spots, but not for too much longer. I think by 10 a.m. all the fog is out of here. And the earliest we might start to see a couple showers pop up is 3 o'clock uh, this afternoon and probably only a, a couple of showers. Most of us are going to reach the upper 80s for highs and there's not going to be much wind today, no more than 10 miles per hour. Let's talk about your Friday evening plans. This model says 6 o'clock completely dry in the region, but notice how there are a couple of showers around. Let's jump ahead to 9 o'clock and a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm. So a little bit of an uptick tonight from today, but we're still talking about isolated showers and storms. I still think more in the region uh, tonight are going to stay dry than see rain. Got to mention it is a possibility, but do not cancel your Friday night plans because if, and it is an if, a shower or a thunderstorm works over you, probably will not last long. Notice midnight, still <laughs> same story, a little bit of activity around, but more likely to be dry in the region. So let's skip through the overnight hours and jump ahead to tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., and starting the day, same story. Got to mention a chance, but still low. Now, as we transition into the late morning, the story starts to change. Now, there is still some uncertainty exactly when is the rain going to peak uh, tomorrow. Is it going to be in the late morning or in the mid-afternoon? Because we're tracking a cold front that's going to work into the region. And there's still some uncertainty in the models about when the cold front arrives. This model is on the late morning arrival time. But I will say there's some models saying maybe as late as about 3 o'clock in the afternoon before the front rolls in here. But what I want to highlight is probably most likely in the early afternoon, if you take the average of all these models out there, it's going to be our best chance of rain. Uh, showers and storms looking likely. And particularly if the front arrives later in the afternoon, that would mean a better chance of thunderstorms than showers is being indicated here. And there would be a small chance that we could get a couple of storms over to you, perhaps seeing some wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour, perhaps some penny sized hail. That's something we'll have to watch out for if the front arrives later tomorrow rather than earlier. But if it arrives like this model saying, you know, right around lunchtime, 11 a.m. noon, probably will just be regular showers and storms. But I do want to mention that some models say 3 o'clock and then because we'd be a little bit warmer, a little bit of greater chance for uh, severe storms, but does not look like a big issue uh, right now. And notice that tomorrow is going to be a cooler day. Instead of upper 80s, looks like we're just going to top out in the low 80s for tomorrow. And this is a cold front that's not coming in with much wind. Like today, winds are only going to be around 10 miles per hour. And the reason why there's not going to be much wind is because this front actually is not going to clear us. Yes, it's going to arrive, but then it's going to stall out over us. So for Saturday night plans, Saturday night is definitely looking wetter than tonight. Now, I do think the peak is going to be when the front arrives, but usually when you get one of these stalled out fronts, you get rounds of showers and storms. So I think that's what we're going to be dealing with. Notice 7 o'clock tomorrow night looking wetter than 7 o'clock tonight and I think that's just going to continue through all of Saturday night. It's not going to rain all Saturday night but it'll probably rain for a little while and then stop and rain for a little while and stop. So rain is likely but I do expect uh, some breaks in the activity. Uh, but comparing Saturday night and Friday night, tonight is the better night to go out because I do think more are going to miss out in the rain tonight. Uh, I don't see anybody missing out on the rain Saturday night. But the good news is it just there'll probably be some breaks. It won't rain all Saturday night but because we're going to see some thunderstorms during the day Saturday. And I still think some storms in spots Saturday night. i got to mention a small chance uh, for flooding. Again, just like our the chance for some damaging wind and hail is small, the chance for flooding also small. But there could be a couple spots in the region of it see two to three inches of rain. If that occurs in a low-lying, poorly drained location, we could see a few flooded roads. But I wouldn't be worried about any severe storms Saturday night because temperatures are going to be coming down 67. Um, but the humidity still staying with us because the front is stalled out over us. So if you want the humidity to drop, we have to wait until Sunday. And I do think that the front's going to start moving again. Uh, but it's still going to be over us in the morning. So particularly in the morning, still a good chance of rain. But I think finally in the afternoon, it's going to start sliding. Now, I want to keep the chance of rain in the afternoon. But it definitely looks like more rain around 
in the morning than the afternoon. I also think it's just going to be showers because look at our temperature on Sunday. Yeah, I know our low temperature around 67. So we are barely going to be warming up at all because not only is drier air coming in, but cooler air as well. And keep in mind, a normal high temperature this time of year, 80 five degrees almost 15 degrees below normal sunday afternoon but if you're trying to make plans uh for sunday i will say you know sunday is a better outdoor day than saturday because of the opportunity in the afternoon i would schedule make plans to do stuff in the afternoon though there still could be some rain around not as much rain as it's going to be around in the morning and still not expecting much wind just a light breeze gusts around 15 miles per hour